Okay, so early this week on Tuesday or Wednesday, on Wednesday, um, I left out of my house and um, I left a little early so I could make it to work early. So it was about um, 6 30 ish. Pulled out onto the street outside of um, where I live. And before I even made it to the first traffic light, I'm sitting there in the left lane and um, then I get hit on the left uh, side of my bumper and I mean just I was I was in the right I was sitting there at the stoplight uh, with a whole bunch of other cars and um, I'm apparently the person didn't see me uh, but they hit me they got in the turning lane and they sped off through the intersection and got back over to the right lane and so when I noticed that they weren't stopping, I was trying to see their tag, but I couldn't see it. It was still dark outside. Couldn't even make out the, the make and model of the truck, but I, I didn't know it was a black truck. That's all I could make out. I couldn't see who was inside or anything like that. It just shocked me that somebody would hit my car and then drive off. My first instinct was to follow them, but then I was thinking, hold on, I think I'm supposed to stay at the scene. But I had no clue what to do. So the first thing I did was call my dad. And, um... Well, after I moved into the turning lane out of the way of the traffic, I called my dad. Then after that, I moved over to the the far right lane and then turned into these apartment complexes that was right at the intersection. And uh, I sat there for a minute, you know, talking to my dad, took a couple of pictures of uh, the damage to my bumper. And I was just so thankful that I thank God that it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Like, had he not reacted the way he did as far as... It like he turned his truck to try to miss me. Like once he realized that, okay, I'm stopped and the rest of the cars will stop. He tried to turn to miss me but still got the, uh, the tip of my bumper and my, my uh, head uh, tail light. But so, um, had he not reacted that much, he would have been slamming right into the back of me. And I may have been pushed into the other car. But thank God I wasn't pushed to the other car. There was no impact of me going forward. There's just damage to the left tip of my bumper and my light. So I'm thankful that things were not as bad as they could have been. Um, so I, um, you know, sat there, I cried, and you know, just upset about, you know, all that happening in the first place. But even through my tears, it's not all, you know, why me. It's more like thank God that it wasn't worse. But so um, I ended up calling. I don't want never have called now one before. And once I called them, they uh, they said it wasn't an emergency, so to call the non-emergency number. So I called the non-emergency number, and I waited for the cops to come out um, to get the report about what happened. And um, after that, I ended up driving on to work. And that's something about me. If I have to go to work, no matter what, I, I go. If I can still walk and talk, I go to work. But I was frazzled and um, it wasn't it wasn't bad though. But the fact that it happened is something I still have to deal with. Um, I do have insurance, so I'm going to be uh, filing a claim with the insurance and getting it taken care of. But that happens to me on um, on Wednesday of this week, and I didn't let it disrupt my whole day. My day was still good. Um, still blessed. Things are still going well. And I'm just thankful that uh, I can still drive my car, and um, it's just some some cosmetic damage to the left. I don't know if my lights out or not because when I'm pressing the brake, I can't see the lights in the back. But, uh, I'm gonna stop here so that I can get on this road. I'm still sitting in the parking lot at church right now. So, um, you all be good, you all be blessed, and remember to keep a smile on your face, because your smile is maybe helping someone else to smile. Peace. Alright, now that I'm rolling, I'm back really quickly. Um, what was I about to say? Uh, oh, so, on Monday, I took my car to get it repaired. And um, they gave me a rental car. So that's what I've been rolling in lately. They gave me a RAV4. 
which is nice because um, that's a little more than what my insurance covers a day. And um, the guy said, oh, I'll get you in uh, that car for the same price. It was pretty cool. So um, I'm rolling the RAV4 and rolling it since last Monday. Hopefully this week um, my car will be ready because I want to be able to drive my car home for uh, Thanksgiving. But um, I guess I won't know until uh, I call them on Monday. But uh, yeah, so I've just been rolling this one. And like before I got my car, which I've only had it for like two years, I um, I wanted an Xterra. And um, I didn't want a car note though, but I ended up getting a car note. But anyway, so I ended up getting my car, which is kind of low to the ground. But I like the RAV4 because it's kind of high up. kind of reminds me of the Xterra that I wanted. Um, so I'm not getting a new car anytime soon. But when I do decide to get a new car, I want it to be an Xterra, like an SUV. Yeah. I think that would be, uh, be nice for me. But yeah, I've uh, been rolling this car. Um, glad... I'll be glad when I have my car back, though. It's nothing like your own car. But, um... Glad everything's working out with the repairs and things like that. God is continuously with me. Even when things, um... Seem like they're going awry, He's always there. And for all those out there who are facing complications, whatever they may be, big or small, know that nothing's bigger than God, and God is always in your corner. Always. Things could be worse than what they were. Like when I think about the wreck, oh, it could have been much worse than what it was. I wasn't injured, thank God. I still had a car that I could drive in, thank God. I uh, had insurance, first of all, thank God. And I had those things because God providing for me. Not in my own strength, not in my own power. So definitely I give thanks to God for all of those things and things working out as well as they did. Um, so, just because you're a Christian, just because you believe, just because you pray, and your relationship with God doesn't mean you are exempt from um, from facing problems and issues. It just means that He's there giving you peace throughout the situation, giving you joy throughout the situation. <clears throat> but um, I haven't even got to church, and I'm here preaching to myself. But um, I'm ready for this word I'm about to receive. Um, Say it. Um, you all be good.